Hello, welcome to the cassette review. I'm Glyph Dice, and today we're reviewing Red Light District by VHS Tape Rewinder. In length, this album is just over 30 minutes long and is dubbed on a C30 cassette tape. It cost £9 plus shipping and was released on Dream Catalog. This is VHS Tape Rewinder's third consecutive release on the label and his first tape release with this label. So let's get to it. Here is the front. Here is the side, and here is the back. So of course it's just a slightly smaller version of the digital cover art, but uh, you can see the colors have changed a bit. It might not be showing up in the capture, but it is much more red than uh, the magenta pink color that's shown on the digital release. That's due to the changes in printing from red, green, blue to uh, the cyan, yellow, magenta that printers use. So that's it's just going to happen. You can't really avoid it without trying to predict it. Um, the side is really, really nice. Even though it's quite dark, they were able to get a good amount of color here. Um, I'm surprised that they went for the white here because on all of uh, VHS's other releases, it's always been transparent. Even on the digital release where uh, VHS is up here and it's transparent, but uh, I guess they decided not to go with it. I did make a small mock-up of what it would look like with red. I'll add that uh, in, on the screen. You'll see it here. And uh, we'll go to the back and of course dark like all Dream Catalog. They really love to have it quite dark here with just a slight splash of color at one end. So we move on now to the tape. The case opens really easily, which is really nice. But uh, Here is the A side. And here is the B side. The first thing to say is that it is on a black cassette with a very dark sticker. Um, looking through the other cassettes they could have gone with, I think it might have been better on a red and gold glitter case, uh, but it really that's just uh, a second thought or a, an opinion of mine about it. I'll throw images of the uh, the red and gold glitter up on the screen now. But anyway, we'll move on. Um, the stickers do ride up here very slightly, but uh, in terms of on the sides here it's perfectly aligned and on the bottom it's completely straight you really can't notice the top here because it is per it's all uniform across at least um it's the exact same of course on the a side so i really wouldn't get annoyed the only place it really shows is here where there's a large gap and then a smaller gap at the bottom um the screen here is uh soft plastic so it doesn't protect as easily as a, a hard plastic would but that's quite usual for Dream Catalog uh, tapes. Um, the design of the sticker is actually really nice. It gives that uh, sort of scratchy lettering all around, even on the usual um, colors or uh, font here. It even puts that effect on it, which is really nice. Um, we'll move on now to the reverse side of the J card. It is kind of purple here, as you can see, and uh, the text here has that effect on it, that kind of scratchy, faded effect. It's really, really nice. I think a bit more artwork could have been put into it, but I guess it does sort of reflect the design of the sticker. It's just a slightly different color, and uh, it's all, it fits perfectly with uh, in terms of being centered as well. You wouldn't really use it as a reverse um, J card because it's quite plain here, but uh, it's still very, very nice. So, unfortunately, this is out of stock. It sold out last year, but uh, you might be able to pick one up on eBay, Discogs, or the Vaporwave cassette subreddit. So, in price, uh, you may be able to... Right now, it's currently going for about $40. I'd say it'll definitely come down as the months go on, as it usually does. But uh, yeah, it is kind of pricey in comparison to other releases. I think just because of how recent it is and how fast it's sold out, really. Uh, in the end, I'd probably give this tape a 7 out of 10. The music on it is great and really atmospheric, but uh, I think the design could have had a little bit more color popped into it. But uh, that's it. So thanks for watching and goodbye.